Oh, um, oh yeah, we're recording. Um, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm black. Oh, guys, it's been forever. I'm sorry. There was a gigantic gap in videos. If you have not been aware, I have been really sick recently, and I finally got better. And now we're back. So, Goosebumps short season 11 finale. We'll get to, we'll start talking about that in a minute. Because, of course, we always start with our news and updates. So, yeah. So, start with that. I'm sorry I have been gone for so long. Um, I was sick. Ten, like, 11, like, 12, 13 days. I'm sorry. No full-length video. That was even interesting. Um. I'm sorry. Anyways. <coughs> um, I'm back. Feeling a lot better emotionally and physically. And we're back and we're going to review this, this of all things. So, grab your popcorn because it's going to be a stupid one. So, um, quick announcements for the channel. Um, first of all, there were supposed to be a few book reviews. Some have been moved. But there will be one today. Chicken, chicken. For Thanksgiving. I wish I could do turkey, turkey. I'm sorry. I itch. And I don't want to, I don't want to go like, oh, yeah, because that's how I scratch. But, uh, yeah. There will be a chicken, chicken book review for thanksgiving that'll be my thanksgiving video special i personally think thanksgiving is the worst holiday <laughs> yeah if i were to rank the holidays from which the best the mainstream holidays like easter valentine's day thanksgiving is st patrick's day is almost mainstream but i wouldn't call it that new year's all those things here's my ranking bottom of the barrel will be thanksgiving then christmas then Valentine's Day. Yeah, I hate Christmas, believe it or not. Like, it's something I just don't like. But, uh, I'll, I'll do christmas -y videos, of course. I'm not just gonna go, oh, no, no, no. I'm not doing Christmas on the channel. There's gonna be Christmas. Don't worry. I'll be Christmas themed videos. Like, I'll be doing some Christmas book reviews, like, the 12 scenes of Christmas. Um, that's really it. <laughs> There's not a lot of Christmas Goosebumps books. But I'll be talking about Goosebumps Christmas related Goosebumps story ideas, maybe. That's an idea I had for a video. Um. Anyways, back on track. Um. My top three holidays would be 4th of July, Easter. I, I kind of like Easter. I have the peeps. The peeps. My favorite candy besides Reese's, which are year round. And of course, what do you think number one is? Hanukkah? <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Yeah, it's Hanukkah. No, it's Halloween, obviously. So, anyways. Let's fucking go. Um, so, you might have no clue what this is. For some people who are like, who are just more book, who, are, who more like the book shit. This is Wendy's Goosebumps Game Pack Series 1 Game Free. So, this is a series of games that Wendy's released, and this was a Goosebumps one. They did a whole bunch of others, but they weren't Goosebumps. This is the Goosebumps one. I gotta say, I I was able to play this. It's get, get played on the PlayStation 4, believe it or not. Yeah, you can just put, put this in your PlayStation, you can play it. It worked. I'm not even kidding. Um, It's more like, it's more, it says DVD games, so. It's a spot the difference game. <coughs> and with Goosebump book covers. All original Shinji Kobus illustrations. And as in Tim Jacobus illustrations, I mean Tim Jacobus's Stay Out of the Basement. They use Stay Out of the Basement. This was 2006, apparently. Yeah. 2006. So, this is, use my math here. 14, 16 years old. Damn, this is 16 years old. So that, that's fairly interesting. And this is like really weird from 2006. 
and has Chim Jacobus. It's around the time Horrorland came out, I think. Yeah. A few years before the Horrorland game, which I think was 2008. I've played it so much, I should know it. And enough of the history, man. Like, it's just super weird. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm still a little sick, guys. I'm not entirely better. I'm still coughing up the sickness. I hate my life! Anyways. Back on track. There isn't much to say about the gameplay and shit. It's, um... I can't believe I decided I'm going to review this game. It's a game, so I can review it, right? I can actually get some game reviews. Really? No, 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 no. But this game, the, the, the it's literally just point, you know, move your controller, remote, whatever, to the difference. But I want to I wanna point out something, like, these differences, 90, I mean, the easiest level, I'm downright honest, is the lawn no one. They actually have quite a few levels. There's like 25. They're all Tim Jacobus book covers. And I gotta say. It's fucking crazy. How difficult. Stay out of the basement was. I'm not even kidding. There was one that I could not find. And I this was like months ago. And I still remember this clearly. Like, Yeah. Almost impossible. And you have a time limit. Before you have to like click on something like, okay, it's definitely not. It is almost impossible. It's a lucky guess situation. It, I literally could not find one of the differences. I'm planning to play this again. I probably am going to play this again. I probably will play it tonight. Just to, for the fuck of it. For old time's sake. But for God's sakes, it's almost a fucking possible. That was my only complaint. Stay out of the basement. Holy fuck. Never again. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Anyways. So yeah, it's basically your typical grandma finding a difference game. Um, They have Shrunky, so that's an extra point out of 10. And yeah, this is going to be a relatively quick review anyway. So now we're at the final part. What is the... What would I give this game? 6 out of 10? It's it's not entirely terrible. Um, the voice acting. There's a narrator. They're decent, I guess. They're not terrible. There's a lot of puns and shit. Um. Either way, it's fine. It's okay. It's not. It's not the worst thing that came from Goosebumps. But um. There's nothing really much I can say about it. They need to make a new Goosebump game already. When will we get Goosebumps at a night? 2020? And then what we get after that? A few updates? Actually, quite a few. There was, they added hard, hard mode not too long ago. Like, um, earlier this year, they added hard mode. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. um, Goosebumps games never get enough love. As in, like, nobody talks about them. But this this one just sucks, Loki. Okay. okay, that's a little rude. If it weren't goosebumps, I would give it a lower rating. If it was like some random pictures, but it, it's because I'm Jacobus art. It's good to look at, so that's a good thing. Because the goosebumps, dead of night and night of scares, they don't have that. They well, obviously don't have much of it. They have some of it, as in the paintings on the walls, and in the original goosebump games, there isn't literally any fur at all. Except for Goosebumps Horrorland and Wii, which is still probably the best Horrorland or Goosebumps game ever. Anyways, that is going to conclude this video. I'm going to give it a 6, you know, 6 5 out of 10. Um, And yeah, see y'all in the next one. Bye.